Welcome to what is going to be a little bit of a catch up. This is going to be part one of two. The second one is going to be over on the second channel, which is Vixen Warrior. That's more to do with the transition stuff. Hence the um, flag fan behind me and things like that. Um, this is going to be covering more of what's going on with my transition and other things since it used to be an old bit of a thing beforehand. Yes, I have got a bit of a goth bit going on. Yeah, as anyone would have seen in the um, other video, the one of the demolition, my hair is a bit more purple now. So that's there. Uh, I also have to try to not drop down here so much whilst I'm talking. Try and see if I can hold it up higher and rise without going too American, which for me sometimes is a little bit of a problem, as some of y'all might know. But hey, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick brief catch up of what's actually going on with the channel because some of you may have noticed that some of the um, things I used to do a while ago, um, especially like, you know, the um, the vlogs and other stuff, some of the vlogs will be coming back. So those of you who have been here for quite a few years will, um, will be happy to know that some vlogs will be coming back. Uh, I've had my hair cut like this for months and I still can't stop playing with it but you know that's by the by but yeah some of the vlogs will be coming back I don't know whether the racing stuff is going to stay or not I privated it all just because it wasn't really getting very very many views and some of my older stuff was getting flooded out so I may or may not kind of like you know put racing stuff in ad hoc I know there might have been a few people in for uh, other stuff that was there um, don't worry, the football and rugby stuff that is going to be coming and going as as and when. Um, whenever I can get a chance to go to a, a game, I will do that. I'm not quite happy paying the prices uh, sometimes, but yeah, I will do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to do a bit, but it's a bit tea. Spicy chai. It's quite nice. It's one of the things I always use for quite a bit of relax, but you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, some of the like the football vlogs and the rugby vlogs and some of the let's talks, they're going to be coming back. I'm going to try to keep a bit of a schedule going. There might be kind of like one main video once a month, and then vlogs where I can. So like my main video per month might be kind of like the let's talk or whatever or a random ramble, you know. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to bring the Bleeding Cherry and White back as it used to be. You know, constant, every home game, every home game, every home game. Because the price is a little bit annoying, especially with no job and no real other way of income. <laughs> and plus, I don't live where I used to live, which was pretty much 10 minutes across the road from the stadium. So I do have to be a little bit more time conscious of things same with the football I can't really do all of the late games but I can try to do some games so I can't fully promise all of that um, other things as well that would be possibly coming back there is a trip out to somewhere which I have done vlogs of in the past it's not Alton Towers unfortunately um, I'm waiting to go back to Alton Towers for next year because Nemesis this year is being fully retracted or at least fully it's like you know the station and the lift hill and I think part of the break run is still there in its original 1993-1994 track but for its 30th anniversary she will be getting a full retrack and a bit of a zazz up and a bit of a glow up because um, the creator, John, John Wardley, did say that there is going to be some new stuff um, going on. So uh, there's going to be like new... The track will still be the same track, the, but the roar will be going, unfortunately. Um, the old Nemesis roar, the old B&M box track roar will be going. Um, so she's not going to be as loud, but she's still going to be as wild. Area around it is going to be getting a bit of a retheme as well for its 30th birthday. That's all I know. Rest of it, I don't really know. But it's definitely not going to be Alton Towers. 
but it's somewhere I have vlogged before. Um, there may or may not, now at the moment we're still working it out, there may or may not be a friend or um, as other people would say, a co-host with me. A friend of mine from where I used to work and who I go hang out with every now and then because he does the um, he does DJing so you know you know so he does does DJing at a local pub so you know he may or may not be in that we've still got to fully work that out yet because we've still got to do our intro for if we're doing it we're going to keep that a secret for where we're going but it will be out late May that's all I'm going to say is that one will be out late May so look forward to that one uh, other than that I don't really know because a lot of like the transition stuff is all going to be over on the sister channel which is Vixen Warrior so all the transition stuff is over there this side is going to be more of like you know, you know your, your sport your talks and things like that some of the talks may end up going over that side as well, just because they may hang into other bits and pieces. But yeah, is there anything that you would like me to try to bring back? Because I know I've done some kind of like, you know, odd streams where I try to stream some other video games and stuff like that, where I have done like, you know, your rugby league live. And I've done that. I did attempt to stream some of that on Twitch but I don't really know I know a lot of it has been mostly the F1 stuff that people have seen which I've privated because the views weren't going on plus it was flooding out a lot of stuff I was having a few issues with some of that so you know so yes I've got Destiny I've got like Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 I do have FNAF but I'm not playing that as most as a collection um, any quest anyone that's going to question me about Sonic Frontiers, I'm not going to stream it. I've played it up to a certain, I've played it up to a point, it doesn't jibe with me, I'm not, <laughs> it doesn't jibe with me. So, that the streams of Sonic Frontiers is going to be kind of like, you know, they're going to just sit there unfinished unfortunately. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get into that game because I know where it's heading and I am going to be a mess. I've seen all the cutscenes and everything like that. I already had the spoiler breakers because a few people had already spoiler broke it for me. So, um, you know, that was that. But it doesn't really bother me about the spoiler breakers because I'm kind of had a feeling where the game was going to go anyway. And it did go there and... Yes, whilst I was watching those videos, I was a mess, so I'm not going to do that on stream, just because it's not exactly nice. I don't really like doing that. Other than that, I don't know, I might I might bring back, like, you know, some of the things that I used to do a long time ago. So, you know, if I ever go to um, Trafford Centre, I might do, you know, I, I might do a... a you know, their fun stop or whatever it is, their fun spot or whatever it is, um, their arcade. I might do a little bit of a video vlog around their arcade and stuff, I don't know. But the um, galleries demolition stuff, I am going to try to do that at least one a week. Because even in the small period of time that they started knocking it down, they've made quite a lot of progress on it, so... I might want to try and see if I can get to it quickly, document it as fast as I can. So, this is basically it. You know, the future of the channel is changing. I'm going to try to bring back some of the things that were there in the past. I may or may not have some guests on with me or co-hosts or whatever you want to call them. There might be some things like that. A lot of the Let's Talks and stuff like that will be swinging over the other side just because it seems to be a little easier that way. Whereas this side is going to be a little bit more insanity, let's say, insanity based. Whereas the other side is going to be reality based. So let's just see how it flows and come what may and see what sticks. Because a lot of channels constantly 
you know, go back and forth and things like that. So I'm not bothered about doing that. Um, just a little bit of a thing as well right at the end. Yeah, I've got a new friend. So I can hear a little bit better now. So um, things are a bit different. Hence why um, you might notice that sometimes I am a little bit more lispy with the S and things like that. Just because I'm having to do two different two different speech paths. I'm having to try to um, you know exaggerate with the mouth, but not too comically. I'm also trying to raise the pitch, hold the pitch. And then make it a little bit more of a different thing, but also speak in a way which could be a bit more clearer, especially because years of speaking like that where you're not really knowing, oh, when you're too loud, because being partially deaf or legally deaf or whatever you want to um, designate it as is very annoying, especially when one of your hearing the hearing aid that you were given is quite old and didn't really work very well. Um, but yeah, at least with this one I can play with it on an app. So if I'm in a noisy environment I can always knock it down a little bit, but that's not too bad. But hey, I've gone on beyond my 10 minute point which I aimed for myself mentally. But hey, that's all fine. Anyway, so if you want to know some of the other things that are going on, then swing on by on Vixen Warrior. Because um, these videos should possibly be uploaded around the same time or I might just patch them both to go live at about the same time um, or I might do them about an hour apart but either way if you want to know what's going on on the other side then swing on over by the other side if you're not all that interested in anything to do with the rainbow side of things then that is all fine that will be me out peace